Meet Arnold. He's desperately trying to hide from the cruel and merciless government, which is forcing him 24-7 to make love. July 20th, Arnold went on an intergalactic cruise. After coming back on the 27th, he returned to find not a single male left on Earth. Everything has gone wrong. Telephones and microwaves don't work. Uber has been replaced with bicycles and horse-drawn carts. Instead of lamps and houses, candles have been lit again. This is because all of the areas in which mostly men previously worked have now ground to a halt. Arnold, why are you running away? Every day, your body produces up to 70 million spermatozoa. You could physically fertilize up to 8 women per day. But since many have disdained even touching you, it was decided to artificially plant your seed in the egg cells. And so the number of pregnant women has increased to 15 million. Now, you're not just more popular than all the Kardashian sisters put together. You become a matter of national importance. Women please you and carefully examine you. But there's a flip side to all of this. You're a prisoner, and you have no right to leave the country or evade your obligations. Your seed is now worth more than any precious metal in the world, and soon will instigate a third world war. You've recovered well by soothing your grief with ice cream. I'm sure we can use this for today's topic. Let's see how much weight you can gain. Put simply, to gain extra pounds, you must constantly increase the number of calories you eat. With your weight and lazy lifestyle, it will be enough for you to eat six Snicker bars a day to start gaining excess weight. When you reach 300 kilograms, the Snickers allotment should be 14 bars a day. And when you reach 2,000 kilograms, you'll have to eat, 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 and eat again until you eat 17,000 calories of food a day. No one has ever reached such a mass. 2,000 kilograms would simply destroy your body. Fat would compress your organs and veins. You would begin to suffocate. Your strongest bones, which are four times stronger than concrete, would break if you tried to stand on your feet. At this way, you can live for just a few seconds until the fat completely strangles you. So let's suck out a little bit. It seems you're going to need to borrow a bra from your mom. The more fat in a person's body, the more intensively female hormones are produced. Your breasts grow enlarged, your voice becomes thin, and your little friend no longer rises in the morning to salute the new day. Hmm, that's a twist. Looks like Lolita97 has a very jealous husband. Don't go leaning out and trying to lose weight. There's enough fat in your body to sit in a closet without food for three years. You just need to inject some vitamins and drink water. Ah, never mind. Get up, lazy butt! I have something for you, Arnold. You now have just 24 hours to live. I think you should Google what to do in such a situation. Yeah. First, clear your browser history. And here are the top three answers to this burning question. How would you spend the last day of your life with loved ones? I think for you, Arnold, this probably ain't the right answer. The second option is to gorge yourself on junk food. Well, you already do that every day. And finally, number three, spend the day at the ocean with a loved one. Ooh, it just got interesting. Arnold, are you really gonna do what you've been dreaming of all your life? Whoopsie daisy, somebody ran out of gas and money. money. 
Great idea! You can get a loan and really live it up on your last day. Get the maximum. You'll feel like the richest dude on the planet. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, makes enough money to buy a new Tesla Model S every 50 seconds. You're rich now, Arnold. You can rent your own plane and fly anywhere you want. What are you up to? Wow, you're gonna take Tagaya from her boyfriend and take her on a trip with you. Arnold, you're my hero. Ah, if only we could turn back time and make this moment really last. What if I told you it's possible to keep the day from ending? You need to overtake the sun. To do this, we gotta fly west along the equator at a speed of 1,667 kilometers per hour. If you can fly at that speed, the day will never end. Regrettably, this won't affect your lifetimer in the slightest. It's your last few seconds, Arnold. You're alive! Ah, I see. According to the contract you signed, you have no right to die until you pay off the loan. Is this to get Bertha's attention? Wow, it actually worked. She invited you to visit her. But, hey buddy, do you have enough money for a ticket? I have an idea. You can fly to Bertha in extra super duper economy class. And instead of the usual tablet and pillow, you're gonna need food, water, and a porta potty. Don't worry, Arnold. You're not the first one to travel like this. Reginald Reg Spears, without any money, got all the way to another continent in just three days. Nowadays, warehouses are like cities with their own laws and regulations. The probability of losing a package is reduced to a minimum. Robots work on the conveyors by reading special barcodes. This reduces the risk of human error. In 2019, China set a world delivery record with 345 million packages delivered in just one day. The worst thing that can happen to a package is that it can get detained in a port at customs. I agree, for the person inside, this ain't like staying at the Ritz. Finding yourself in a confined space under the blazing hot sun is a difficult task to endure. Arnold, hang on, little buddy, it's just a little longer now. To be precise, 23 days, 17 hours, and 45 minutes. And a person is not the most amazing thing ever delivered in a package. An entire bank was transported this way. It was dismantled and sent to another city. Welcome to Australia, Arnold. One of the benefits of traveling by package is courier delivery right to the final destination point. Bertha will be here any minute. Wow, what a babe. Arnold, are you ready? Good luck for you, Arnold. Come on, that's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous because your heart is not as good as it used to be. I built a machine that makes things invisible for 24 hours. Don't move, Arnold. Wait, what are you? Oh, you are such an imbecile. I'd smack you upside your head, but damn it, I don't know where you are. Put this hat on so I can see you. Okay, you have 24 hours. What are you gonna do? 
Who'd have any doubt that's where you'd go first? If my machine worked according to the principle of invisibility, you'd become blind because the invisible body's refractive index becomes equal to that of air, and the lenses in your eyes would lose the ability to reflect light rays and focus them on the retina. The retina itself also wouldn't be able to absorb visible light with its rods and cones due to its invisibility. But as I can see, your eyesight seems to be okay, you slobbering ignoramus. Okay, now that the gym is closing, can we do something else? You have 18 hours left. I meant something a little more significant, you block-headed jerk monkey. After all, you could reveal terrible uh. secrets and perform incredible feats. You could even make your way into Area 51. Oh, right, it's in a different state. Do you have any ideas? Are you thinking about stealing it? That's a terrible idea. In any case, you need a plan. Of course, thanks to invisibility, you'll be able to stay long after closing. But then you'll need to bypass the guards. And there are also lasers all around the diamond. Can you really do a triple somersault, steal the diamond, and leave the museum in the car that will bring new antiquities for the exposition exactly at 2 a.m.? Even so, this is a really bad idea. The museum closes in an hour. Go hide in the corner and wait. And take off your hat, you mutton-headed twit. Get ready, Arnold. The main thing, obviously, is not to get caught. Arnold, it's go time! Aw, oh, nuts! All you had to do was a triple somersault, and you screwed it up again. <sighs> well, now, now you have to run for your life, Arnold! The exit is just around the corner. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Damn, looks like you stole a glass copy of the diamond. Well, I gotta say this is an unfortunate turn of events. Although, to be honest, it's pretty logical that the original would be kept in a safe. Now you'll never have the love of the beautiful tug eye. I know someone who can help. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I see, you're still the same lazy guy. So while you don't feel pain, even ordinary tape will do. Oops. This is the end, buddy. Farewell to your one true love. <laughs> And here he is, our hero of the day. A strong blow to the head has woken up Jacob again, Arnie's other personality, or in scientific terms, his alter ego.
It's called Disassociative Identity Disorder. With this disease, power over the body of the patient is completely captured by another personality. The cause of the disorder may be trauma during childhood. The child blocks off memories of bad events and starts to consider himself someone else. Jacob, unlike Tim and Arnold, doesn't suffer from multiple complexes. He's fearless and sexy, and he'll stop at nothing. Even somebody as petulant as Tagai is intrigued. But there is one thing. Jacob can only speak Dumi, which is a language common to only Eastern Nepal. The alter ego often differs from one's main personality in the language of communication, gender, age, nationality, and even IQ. And in especially exotic cases, the alter ego can be an animal or even a religious figure. The maximum number of alter egos in one person was identified in an American criminal named Billy Milligan, who had 24 different full-fledged personalities. Billy was acquitted in court as crimes he committed were actually committed by one of his alter egos, unbeknownst to Billy himself. Arnold, just look at what you've done. It seems now you think you're a psycho and you need to be treated. But split personality is not schizophrenia, and there's simply no cure. What's that? An SMS from Tagai. She wants you to come to her now. Inside Arnold, there can be only one. Come on. No way. Are you finally going to meet her? Ha <laughs> ha. What a maroon. You're seriously depressed, buddy. The World Health Organization estimates that depression affects 300 million people worldwide. That's about 4% of the global population. Depression occurs due to a deficit of neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Without these natural chemicals, favorite activities stop being pleasurable and colors turn gray. And all of this can end very tragically. So just don't do something stupid, Arnie. Arnold, you have millions of fans on YouTube. Why do you need all this? Come to me, buddy. I'll give you a big hug. Depression isn't just a change in mood. It's a real illness. To treat it, you most definitely need to consult a doctor, preferably a psychiatrist. Antidepressants can help you, but be careful. Some are addictive. Start going to the gym. Believe it or not, exercise is one of the best ways to reduce symptoms of depression. And change your diet. Eat more dark chocolate, seafood, nuts, and fruits. Meet with your friends. You can get a pet and take it for walks in the park. Now that everything's stabilized in your nervous system and your hormones of happiness have returned to normal levels, the world sparkles with new colors. And now that you're in better physical shape, girls have even started checking you out, buddy. Is that Susie? She's ready to meet you. Quick, answer her. Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Phew, it stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. <gasps> this is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines. They can handle even an elephant. Hmm. 
After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Get out! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, what? and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! Oh. The world was consumed by a new epidemic. The infected have spots on their skin. A terrible rash covers their entire face. They cough continuously and their front teeth fall out. And in order not to be isolated, people are inoculating en masse by buying the vaccine on the black market, deliberately putting themselves at risk as the vaccine has not yet been approved. But they do this so they can return to normal life as soon as possible. Arnold, what are you doing here? Oh, are you on a date? That's cool, but you sure could find a place more romantic than this cafe on the outskirts of the city. Here she is. Wow! What did you tell her to get her to come on a date with you? Uh-oh. How did so many zombies get in here? Arnold, it seems that Susie is in trouble. An average zombie. It has green skin and smells like my grandmother's feet. At first glance, it may seem that this is just your ordinary gamer who hasn't eaten for three days. But no, zombies have their own diet. Usually, these cute creatures eat human brains. Arnold, what are you gonna do? Wow, no, that, that, that's what I call a gun. Who is that? Wow, no way, that's Chuck freaking Norris. And he's got an entire arsenal here. Now he's gonna kick some butt. Yikes, this is kind of brutal even by my low standards, but very cool. Blimey, how many zombies are there? Looks like this big guy is the only one left. You call that a punch, this is a punch. Your date seems to have been canceled due to the unforeseen zombie Ooh. attack. Arnold, don't forget about Susie. Crikey, are they immortal? Chuck, hit the gas. Huh, that went pretty okay. Oh no. Look, Arnie, you and Susie have something in common. Just like you, she loses her fingers. Hmm, it seems she's getting worse. Quick, do something. You guys gotta save her. So this is the guy can help us. Who the heck is he anyway? Grigory Rasputin, the most mysterious person of the 20th century. He's credited with hypnotic abilities and an extraordinary gift of healing. What a creepy place. Even worse than that cafe you invited Susie to, Arnold. What are we doing here? Where are we going? This is how I imagine the dentist office. 100% dreadful. Hey, can we maybe stop before it's too late? Here, everything is in the best traditions of Russian celebrations. Vodka, balalaika, bears, and dancing till morning. And here's the guy we need, Grigory Rasputin. This here's the big guy. It seems our healer has drunk an 80-proof potion. Looks like you're gonna have to figure things out on your own. You don't need to worry about him. Everyone is talking about the new vaccine. Many have already tried it out on themselves, but it turns out it has a side effect. People turn into zombies. This Rasputin guy turned out to be a real you necromancer. He took advantage of the situation and invented a vaccine that destroys the virus, but turns the living into zombies. Even Chuck is shocked. Chuck, your turn. Gosh darn it, how does he do it? He's even cooler than in Walker, Texas Ranger. So that's who Van Damme took lessons from. Ooh, here comes Daddy. This big guy is not gonna be taken down so easily. Army, you're the only one left. Army, you are a warrior. Remember all the things I taught you. And most importantly, remember, there's no enemy like yourself. Arnold, are you? I knew it. Goodbye, Arnold. You were a nice guy. Ooh, now I see. What a twist. 
Arnold, I congratulate you. Now that you're finally getting married, though to a zombie. Although, you're a zombie yourself, but what's the difference? Even zombies can love too. The whole planet is infected with diarrhea virus from China, but I made your blood the only existing vaccine. There are 7 billion people in the world, and everyone is hunting for you. 195 countries have posted your photo on all possible media. You're in all of the police databases, and not only the world's police, but all the best special forces in the world are after you. MI6, British Intelligence, which has been working around the clock for 100 years straight. ISI, Pakistan's Interdepartmental Intelligence Agency, with the largest residency in the world, 10,000 agents. The CIA, watch out Arnie, they torture people. The Canadian Intelligence Service, with a search budget of over $507 million. Do you really think you can hide from all of them? You're on every single smartphone in social media. You become more popular than Greta Thunberg. I'm sure she envies you now. After all, you can actually help save humanity. Just give them your blood, all the way down to the last drop. Elite special forces from all countries are already coming for you. U.S. Navy SEALs, the French National Gendarmerie, Chinese Snow Leopards. But of course, even a random student could catch you. Big Brother is watching you. In New York City alone, there are about 20,000 surveillance cameras. They take photos, compare the distance between the main features on your face, nose, eyes, mouth. Data is converted into a person's numeric code, a face print, and verified with the database. Catch this. These glasses with built-in infrared LEDs will help oh. you to hide your face from the cameras. For them, hey. your face will look like a glowing hey. blind spot. Wait a bit. You forgot the battery. This isn't enough. You need a disguise. It was a bad idea to eat this many donuts. They provoked an excessive accumulation of gases. Unleash the winds! You look good, but search dogs will find you by the smell of butyric acid, the odorous component of your sweat. It won't help that just one gram of sweat is enough for the dog to smell you on the roof of that 10-story building, or at a depth of 15 feet under concrete. In the United States alone, there are nearly 7 million drones. Stop waving and take this special weapon against drones. This gun fires a wide stream of electromagnetic emissions so you don't have to aim. It's enough for the interference stream to cover the drone, and then it'll lose contact with its base and lose control. What have you done? Get lost in the crowd, bone brain! Well, you have to kiss. You've been teleported a lot during our science show, but did you ever wonder how the teleporter works? There are several ways to travel through time. Let's start with wormholes. Where have you been dreaming of going? To Australia? No problem, get in. A wormhole is a tunnel through the space-time continuum that theoretically could send you to any point in the universe in just a few seconds. But time is relative, Arnie, and it might take just a few seconds for you, but on Earth, decades could pass. Congratulations, Arnie. You're in Australia in the year 2050. It's a little uncomfortable, yeah? And what if you needed to move around at the same time? Quantum teleportation can help in this matter. Your body consists of a hundred trillion cells, which in turn consists of a hundred trillion atoms each. And each atom contains tiny pinpoint particles, quanta, which could help you teleport over huge distances. It would be great to find someone who could help you build a quantum teleporter. Well, look who's here. Rick and Morty. Arnie, take their drawings. With their help, you could create a device for instantaneous movement anywhere in the universe and even into alternate universes. Now, when the teleporter's ready, climb into the box and make sure there's no one else inside. Well, so long, Arnold. In quantum teleportation, 
the original body dies and a duplicate is created at the destination point. No big loss in your case. Wow. I told you, during teleport, you need to be alone inside the booth. Don't touch anything in the laboratory. What have you done? Your DNA, which was hybridized with that of a scorpion, was transmitted through the satellite system and turned all the inhabitants of the planet into human-scorpion hybrids. You've destroyed Dimension C-137, you stupid idiot, Arnie. Rick and Morty would have traveled back to the original universe, where the mutants don't exist, but you can only do it a couple of times. I don't think we want to see what happens to Arnie in this universe. Better we go back to Australia. Fortunately, I saved Arnold's quantum data and therefore have the ability to recover his useless body. Arnie, you should crawl through the wormhole in the direction of your home in 2018. And don't forget the blueprints of your body. It seems now we know how humanity will create a teleporter in 2050.